Hello planner friends, it's Amber from Amber Planter Day and I'm really excited to come on and kind of share with you how I actually use my planner to help me kind of get through the week. So it is actually Monday mid-morning when I am filming this and prepping it and um, we're basically just going to do a quick overview of the week and this is kind of how I do it every Monday. Um, so I just like I have an idea of what's going on for the week and then I write down the main things and then I will come back um, every few days to kind of solidify the schedule. So I do know that um, well, because it already happened, Mike left for Arizona Monday, like in the middle of the night. So Mike drives to Arizona. So that is to help his dad, um, who's still not like really doing very well health wise and just things like that. So he is gonna kind of go down there and just deal with some of those things. So Already knowing that, I know that I am going to be alone for most of this week, so I do need to write down some of our appointments and things like that before we get too far into the week. So on Friday, I know that um, our two-year-old son has an ENT appointment. That's ears, nose, throat, um, because he has some swallowing issues. And that's at 2.45 p.m. And then I also know that we have a home visit with our home supervisor for foster care at 3 p.m. So she will, um, I'm not really hoping Mike will be back or else one of these will get rescheduled. Um, but if Mike is back by Friday, he's hoping to be back by Thursday, but I don't know. Um, if, you know, if she comes, then, you know, I'll be with one kid and, you know, Mike will be with some of the others. Sunday, we always have church. And we typically go to the 9 a.m. service. And then I don't know if we have any weekend plans. Like I said, I don't know if Mike is actually going to be home this weekend or not. And then I do know that on Tuesday, we have our cornerstone therapy. It's like a family therapy that comes into the home and that is at 1 to 5 30. So they're there like they're here like all afternoon. And then I do know that I'm going to have some people coming to help um, put the kids to bed every night. You guys might like I've, I've said this a few times before but Mike is truly amazing. He is an amazing dad. He's awesome. And I, like, I do not know how he did it all alone while I was at Go Wild. He is just, he's literally my hero. The kids, on the other hand, act completely different around me. Um, and it could be because I'm a little bit more of a lenient parent. Um, and I don't, like, I give in a little bit more than Mike does. Um, and they know that. So I like am terrified for this week coming up. Um, so I have some like friends and some helpers coming to help me mostly put the kids to bed. So I'm going to say Kristen help at 6 p.m. And then Tuesday Kelly is going to help at 6 p.m. And then on Wednesday, I think I'm going to put it here, Mary help at 6 p.m. And then also Rachel uh, brings dinner at 4.30 p.m. And then other than that, oh, I do need to mail orders so I need to run to the mailbox today or to the post office to drop those off and then I do know that on Tuesday I will need to do laundry because our kindergartner is running out of school uniforms so I mostly need to do that school uniforms 
Um, and then Wednesday, so I usually have GC, which is the youth group that I'm a leader for. I don't have that this week because, well, Mike's going to be out of town, so I cannot attend. Um, so I don't need to write that down. And I, oh, on Thursday we have, um, therapies. So I'm going to take this off because as a lefty, sometimes it's hard to write on the Thursday. So we have feeding therapy. And that's at 12, 15. And then if Mike is home, we'll be able to do both. Otherwise I'll have to cancel one or the other. Um, but we have play therapy at, uh, what time is that? 12.45. No, it's supposed to be at 12.30, but we are almost always late because of schools and other therapy pickups and just things like that. So we almost always get there at 12.45. We always feel awful about that. And then as of right now, I think that's really all I can write down. And I'm going to pop on throughout the week and um, film some more of how I, you know, get this planner prepped for the like for the week so basically like it's Monday morning Monday and Tuesday we're all good to go I know the schedule I know exactly what we're doing and I know what needs to get done on my list and then I'll probably come back on like Wednesday and finish okay what do I actually need to do on Wednesday and Thursday possibly Wednesday Thursday Friday after I get more clarity on Mike and how long he's gonna be gone and then um uh, sometimes on Wednesday, like I'll know the weekend, but then otherwise I'll come on towards the end of the week and finish out the weekend. But a lot of the weekend just looks the same. So we just kind of hang out at home or we run errands or do things like that. So I usually know most of those things by Wednesday. So I did use my Papermate Flare. Sometimes I've been using, um, like brush pens or different color pens and sometimes it just depends like kind of what I want what I want in the actual planner but for now um I just I don't know this spread just I feel like it needed black to kind of like neutralize it and bring it together just because these florals from functional floral sticker book is just stunning so anyway um I will be back in a few days to hopefully finish this layout for all of you guys and just continue sharing how I actually use my planner Hello, happy Wednesday, and we are going to try to get um, as much of the weekend done the rest of the week as we can. So we are going to start with Wednesday, that's today, and um, I do have a mom's morning gathering, so um, most weeks I just, like, there's some moms at our church who get together, so I want to go to that this week. So I'm going to say, mom's gathering at 9.30. I almost always forget if it's at 9 or 9.30, and I'm like either early or late, and I'm like, when is it? Um, also, Wednesday, which by the time you guys watch this video, it's going to be past, but... I really have to share this with you guys. Um, Krispy Kreme Day. Krispy Kreme. Gallon Gas Day. So you can get a whole dozen donuts um, glazed for the price of a gallon of gas. So I do want to go to that. I do need to get gas in the car. Um, so Costco, we always... Not always, but most of the time we get gas at Costco. Then I'm going to take this off. Thursday I have Downtown Moms. This I almost forgot as well, but then I got an email about it, so whew, remembered. Downtown Moms at 9.30. And then we need to pay uh, our Costco card okay then Mike he should be home Thursday sometime um yeah he should be home in plenty of time for Thursday so I think we're good there so Friday oh we do have um 
usually our like our cornerstone therapy is on Tuesday but we have like two therapists and one of them was on vacation so she's coming on Friday so we have cornerstone and I kind of forgot about that at um I think it's like 10 a.m I want to say and then I, I still don't really know what we're doing this weekend. I When Mike gets home um, in the next day or so, I'll be asking him so then I can come out and finish this. Um, I kind of, I don't know. Like, I really don't think, I do know on Sunday specifically, we have a lot of, um, a lot of to-dos. So it's like cleaning day, refresh day for our house. So we really need to do our laundry. We really need to put it away because we need to get on top of that. I do need um, Saturday. We need to. I need to go to Carter's. That's mostly where we buy our kids clothes from, and then for spend rewards before they um, expire. Then kitchen counter. Then, um, Mike and I try to just reset things. Oh, you know what? I have a meeting though. I'm going to put it, I think I'm gonna put it in this box. Um, and I'll share about that in a second. So laundry, kitchen, and then change sheets. We do not change our sheets enough. And I am, <laughs> I'm okay to admit that. So it, the meeting is technically on Sunday, but I'm putting it in this box. Um, I'm going to write meeting. I kind of want to underline it and then I'm going to say with Deborah. She's going to be working on um, with us for some foster care stuff. So we need to complete our budget for her. Complete day in the life for our kids. For... <laughs> I was trying to say for all, and I said fall. So you know what? We're, we're actually just going to go with it. I put a little hyphen there, and, and that's what it is. It's fall, y'all. For all kids. <laughs> um, I really, like, I don't mind having mistakes in my planner. 24th at 8 p.m. Okay, good. And then Saturday, I think I'm going to leave this checklist blank for now until I know if we are going to be going out somewhere or if I need to like go grocery shopping or if I need to run errands or anything and then I'll probably come on um one last time and just finish out this spread with you all um but I hope that you guys are kind of liking this um I know a lot of my patrons have asked for this more and when I do them people really enjoy it so I'm trying to do them a little bit more often but um, sometimes it's just hard to remember to sit down and um, film all of it but we are almost there hello happy Friday evening so I am basically just gonna fill in the rest of Saturday because um, everything else is done but I do have a few things that we have going on tomorrow. So I have a travel agent agent meeting at 9 a.m. And that's because I want to take the kids and the family to Disneyland at some point this year. So I'm just trying to like figure out what that looks like and how a travel agent could possibly help with that. Um, and then I know that we need to go to Walmart and then I need to go to Target for a return. Return. And then I need to go to Carter's for rewards. We just had like a huge shopping spree for the kids like last weekend so we got some rewards and um after we like realized everything we bought like we kind of looked at everything okay we need more like we needed some more pants or whatever so I just need to go and grab a few things but it'll be free because of the rewards so this is the completed spread 
after the pen. Um, I hope that you guys really like this one. I think this spread, the Functional Floral Sticker Book, is one of my favorites. I just absolutely love the florals in it. And then, of course, Spring Collections. You just can't go wrong. But I think that these paired really nicely together. And the pen to the paper was a great video. And I hope that it was helpful for you to see how I actually use my planner throughout the week. And, um... Just kind of plan every few days just so I can know what is going on. Look, I already wrote Carter Spend Rewards. And <laughs> I wrote it right there too. <sighs> Look at me. See, already. Already going down the wrong hole. But Walmart and Target are for sure. So, okay. I think that's it, you guys. I hope that you really enjoyed this video. I, I try to do these every so often just to give you guys an idea of how I actually use my planner. But it, it's really fun to just have this and... Um, to kind of sit down with you guys and share all of the um all of the plans with you so much for joining me today if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss the next one bye babes